Woke up this morning to a notification in my YouTube from Andy Pugh, Tales from a Tinkeridge, about servicing your Dysons, right? or mainly getting this part cleaned. Made me think two things. One, I needed to vacuum the lounge room. Two, the efficiency has been going down on this, so I need to basically service it. So this is a basic service, and it's a little bit different to Andy's just because of the machine. This one is one of the ones with the little ball motor at the bottom so it can swivel a lot more. It's got the power head on the front and it's got two filters in it, two HEPA filters. This is the DC25. I'll start with the brush just like Andy did and then go through the idea of servicing the filters and cleaning the basic body of it. Like Andy said in his, it goes without saying, when you're servicing a machine, unplug it. If you don't think to unplug something like this when you're about to service it, you're a numbnut. Anyway, with this particular model, there's one little cam lock that holds it in place. When you lefty loosey that, this part slides right out, so you don't have to worry about belts or anything like that. It's all run by a, a gear in this end. Once you've got this out, this is all attached as you can see. Loads of hair. Not as many long haired people in my house as Andy's, but my wife's got long hair and I'm losing a lot of mine. I chose to use scissors rather than knife because I don't want to scratch this barrel but I guess the beauty of this model is that I don't have to worry about cutting a drive belt and you can tell you're losing your efficiency in your vacuum when you notice streaks on your carpet because the brushes aren't actually hitting properly So you get the gist of this. I'll come back to you when I've finished it. The Dyson have really improved the um, model of the power head in this one compared to Andy's because the power head comes completely out so you can give it a general dusting. <sighs> now this was this was the cap end and it just basically sits on as well with a bearing. So there's nothing that you can't work around. Probably see all those little bits in the dogs. Yeah, they get stuck in these things. Alright. So once that once that's all cleaned off, you just Sit that back in there. Slide your power head back in. It engages with the gear at the end. Locks in. Click that back. Righty tidy. And that's done. The other parts of your vacuum that can reduce your efficiency is your filters. Now with this Dyson, don't know if it's the same with all of them, they're so easy to clean out. whole thing comes off, take that away to the bin, pressing this button down will open up the top and you can empty all that out. So I'll do that and then I'll show you the rest. So this was well and truly overdue. So you can get all the, the stubborn dust out. And if you're lucky enough to have access to a compressor, you can blow it out as well. That's basically the open, but you can also then take this whole part off and give that a really good time. And this part, the cyclone section, 
give give this a brush out and again if you've got a compressor go for it give it a blowout which I will probably do later but you want to basically get any sort of stuff that's going to cause an obstruction inside it and the other part of it is is the HEPA filters. This has two. One in the top of this part, so before the um, the air gets back into the system. So you can see it says filter A. Take that off. Now, that is quite dirty on the underside. These filters can be washed and when you wash it you just basically go up to a tap it shows you here cold water flush straight through here and you can squeeze them out a bit as well flood this out pushes it all out and then just sit that out to dry make sure it's completely dry before you go putting it back into your machine and just have a go at giving that a bit of a, a dust off so you reduce the amount of crap that's in there to go back into the machine the next time. Give all of these parts a bit of a dust off as well. All the connection sections. Give it a nice clean. With this part, with this particular one, the hose can come right off the back. Like if you wanted to use the, the smaller hose, Give this a bit of an inspect and clean as well. It looks dusty inside, so I might give that a brush off as well. Your second filter is in this bottom section. Sit it up, lean it right back so you can get, get to it. Push in there, take the cover off. You see that button? Press that button take out the filter. Same thing, this one says flush it through, tap it off, sit it in the sun to dry, give it at least 24 hours and you're going from your clean side through to your dirty side so when you're washing it you're going to have the water flooding through this side. Once they're dry, installation is just through first. I'm going to go and clean those out. I don't think I need to demonstrate how to flush water through a filter from a tap Plus my laundry tub is looking pretty scungy at the moment. So I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to give a lot of this a bit of a dust off. I might get my air compressor out to blow it out. That's just an advantage I have. I can tell that this one in particular is fairly dirty. I'm sure that once that's cleaned out, the efficiency of the vacuum will increase dramatically and having cleaned the head off as well. Although I didn't show you wash, me washing it out, don't be shy about washing the filters out. Like don't just trickle it under the water. You've really got to flush it through and you will see the dirt disappearing. You will notice a little bit of a difference in the colour of the other underside. Now this one's rigid, so you just basically give it a good wash out. Give it a really good shake afterwards to get the excess water out so it's easier to dry. With the filter that goes in the top of the collection container, this one you can be really a bit more gung-ho with it. Really flush the water in it, you'll see the, the colour change in the surface to make sure you've got water all the way through. And you can then squeeze it out and you'll see, see a change in the um, colour of the water. When the water's, you can do that over and over and over, when the water starts running clean, then you've basically cleaned your filter. Now you should do this, it says, every three months, depending on how much you use vacuum cleaner. I've been very slack with this, so this has needed a really good clean and I might see about buying a spare as well just in case the efficiency of this one's gone down. But now I just need to leave these sit out in the sun. They say to leave them sit for at least 24 hours to dry before putting them back into the vacuum. That's why I just did a quick vacuum then. And if you don't have a compressor, just get a lungful. Just 
Just blow. Don't. Suck. So that's it, the Dyson DC25, DIY, home maintenance on it, home servicing. If you've got this, anybody can do it. The instructions are pretty much on it, on how to do it. I will link to Andy's video down in the bottom because that's what inspired me to do this. And his is a different model, so you might have the same model as him. Or you might have the same model as this, or a similar model.